What's up, y'all? This your girl, Sweets, and I'm kicking it with my boy, Chop Talk TV. And we at my grand opening, Sweets Collections Boutique. This is Big Biz. Chop Talk TV, this ain't that. Y'all know this big business. Y'all know we ain't keeping no school. And y'all know definitely this ain't that. Sitting here with the one and only beautiful Sweets Collection. What's up, Queen? How you doing? What's up? How you doing, Chop Talk TV? Oh, man. We chilling. We chilling, man. How your 2021 been so far? Mm, up and down, but today is a special day, though. Yeah, I see. I see you got the shot open up and oh, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been two years in the making. Two years in the making. That's what's up, Here man. count. How you feel about it? Um, I feel high. Yeah, you feel high. like a natural high? Yeah, wake up high, go to sleep high, just high. I know you just been, that's all you've been thinking about is this place here. Uh, every day, that's where I'm at, 24-7. <laughs> I know you've been on my dog Jeezy bumper to the end thing. Oh. <laughs> We're in the deal. We've been going at it, yeah, but we still co collaborate together after all. That's what's up, what's up, I like that, I like that, man. Uh, where you grow up, this week? I actually grew up in East St. Louis. For real? Mm -hmm. On the east side? Yeah, in Cahokia. In Cahokia. How was it growing up over there? Um, different. It's different? Different. Um, same like over here. What's kind of like difference between over there and over here? Give me something. Like um, that. just smaller neighborhoods. I'm going to say that. Smaller neighborhoods. Okay. Yeah. Cahokia is like two, three blocks and then you jump into Probably Allerton and then Centerville. But same like shit going on. Same, same old shit. Yeah. When you yeah. transition to coming over here on this side of the world? Oh, it's been about 15 years, but I gotta tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? Right, so, yeah, right, 15 absolutely. years I've been over here. Um, and uh, I still got people on this side of the water and this side of the water. I'll just so be, you still got family over yeah. there. Mm -hmm. so, sure do. Why you ain't open the shop over there? Why you ain't think about it over there? You just. Because more of your stumping ground over yeah, here because you've been over here so long. So long. I had jobs over here. I right. always kicked it over here. Um, so I just decided, decided to, to over here. Yeah, you go to uh, high school and stuff over there? Or what grade did you go to? When you go? Um, I went to Cahokia High. Yeah, I graduated there? from Cahokia. Oh, that's what's up, though. That's yeah. good, man. Well, uh, made you get into the, like, the fashion business and stuff? I, like, always, I always had a, like... A whole vision for fashion. Like I dress down in a suit, pants, shorts, skirts. Like I just love dressing up. Like when I was little, I used to always dress up dolls. I had every doll. I had the jam doll, the cabbage patch doll. The oh, every yeah. doll that came out, I had it. Like okay. doing her. And then you know, I like for real. I played with dolls all the way till I was 15. Unlike these other kids. Like oh, I'm yeah. just gonna tell it like it is. And then I said, Shari, you need to give up these dolls. Right. So I gave them up right. and. uh I still dressed up myself after that. Right, right, yeah. absolutely. How you come up with the name of Sweets Collection? What? Oh, well, my mama called me Sweets when I was younger, and uh, my cousin went and got tattoos on them, but I was scared. I ain't gonna lie, I was scared to get a tattoo. I was like, my mama gonna kill me. I'm not getting no tattoo on me. And I went and got a uh, kitchen tattoo with the Indian ink on my arm that says Sweets. Oh yeah. On it, so because they kept calling me that, so I was like, I'm just gonna get sweet. She ain't gonna kill me for this. And they got busted and told on me. <laughs> and she said, I know my daughter ain't got no sweets on her arm. And raised that arm up, and she looked at it and said, Well, it's dirt now. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. and as you can see, I got it covered up, so I got a new, uh, new sweets uh, up, yeah. up to date. Up to date. It, yeah, it's been like uh, 15 years for this one. So, uh, yeah. that's what's up. That's that's cool, man. So now that you're into the, the fashion industry and all that, what's some of the like people you're gonna be targeting? Like young, old, mm. children, men, women? I actually wanna do younger and older and men. Yeah. So yeah. It's just a process of uh taking it one day at a time, like uh, cause first I started with like the kids, shades, kids purses. Okay. So eventually we gonna move on up to Kids clothes. Kids clothes. Man. Yeah. What's been the most toughest, like, like getting everything together? What's been like the big, op big, biggest obstacle? Sizes. 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 Cause I have my BBWs. They be wanting certain stuff in their size, and it don't come in that size. Okay. So I try to get them something different that'll look good on them, and then they they go back and say, "Well, I wanted that other outfit. It didn't come in that size." Right. So it's really sizes. 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 Is, is, is and the vendors. Thing. And the vendors. Oh. 
Yeah. The What's up with the vendors? They just don't be having it, or um, some, some don't, some do. But you, ha that's why you have to have your top five vendors. That okay. I got top five vendors. Now I mess with other vendors, but I have top five that I just reach out to. They like my friends. I be like, hey, friend. All you right. know, right. <laughs> they call me friend. I call them friend. All right, All right, absolutely. Now, what about the material you use? You got some nice, good material that feel good on your skin. Yeah, I'm gonna say ninety percent of my stuff feel good on your skin, and then I get the ten percent that I'd be like, oh no, nah. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. right. I got. I'm gonna put this on the sale rack, you yeah. know, and get what I paid for it type stuff. Cause right. I can't give my people that. I gotta, I gotta show them that I ain't gonna sell them something that I won't buy. Right, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Now, uh, I see you got your uh, your big logo, uh, they man. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So what's up? Uh, what's up with uh, they man? How that? How that? come about when I say uh, I just used to always say it like I, after I get my nails done I'd be like they mad I get my hair done I'd be like they mad and so every time I <laughs> so my friends was like yeah but I always saying they mad and then they'd be like go on the sand shower they mad so mm -hmm. then I just was like you know what I'm gonna reach out to somebody and see if they can make me a logo and if it pop I'm just gonna keep on you know stay with it so I um, reached out to somebody. They made me a logo. I ain't too much like it. So I took it to this black girl right. named Shelby. Hey, Shelby. And I was like, it's kind of, mm, it's plain. And I like the way they came up with it. But I need some, some I need some spunk on yeah, it. Yeah, right. I need you to put some darkness on it and some pop on it. Right. I sent it to her. And I was like, that's it. She killed it. Yeah, she killed it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's so TM and then TM. Stand for they mad. They mad. Yeah, uh, with right. the with the capital M A D D. Okay, yeah. that's what's up, man. Yeah. You got any more fashion shows coming up? You remember we did the last fashion show. So, um, uh, I'm thinking about doing one maybe the beginning of probably a Valentine's Day one. Valentine's Day. So that'd be uh what winter? Winter. Yeah, still winter. Uh, what about uh? I know you just said the kids' clothes. You gonna do just like. Little bitty like toddlers or babies that you gonna reach we out gonna do, down to that? Mm -mm, we gonna do zero to well yeah zero to sixty probably because okay. these teenagers they wishy washy. So they wishy washy. Yeah, they they real picky. So if I stick with zero zero to sixty, mm -hmm. yeah, I think stop at sixty. Yeah. Are you doing uh just having your own like line of clothes like they mad jeans or are you gonna be having like a little mixture like a little, little bit of Gucci like stuff too of oh, every, yeah. everybody stuff mm -hmm. we're gonna have everybody stuff we're gonna have Gucci Louis Versace um, Nike I got a couple of outfits now mm -hmm. uh, Dior okay. as you can see I got my Chanel shirt you know right. my Chanel earrings necklace y'all right. can get that here yeah. um, but other than that um, the day mad I have like sweatsuits for women and men um, T-shirts, um, hats, snapbacks. Okay. Um, I got the per the bucket hats and the purses on the way with they mad on it. Okay. Um, what about accessories? I see you got a few accessories like your earrings and your sh shades. Are you doing the like the they mad? I'm accessory? working on that. I'm trying to find somebody who can put my logo on the shades. On the shades. Because yeah, yeah. Okay. But. Where is the uh, shop located so everybody know where we located? Oh, at? the shop is located in Florissant at 2166 North Waterford. Yeah, North Waterford. Yep. Yeah. What made you choose this location here? Um, it's an, I like those locations really though because well, they, they got a nice little flow of traffic This like this side street right here. Right. It's a lot of traffic right here and uh, on top of that, 